If this isn't the best part of the day, I don't know what is. Not a person inside. I'm here, straight out of bed with my coffee, looking at the rising sun. How good is this? I'm gonna grab a cast net and go and try my luck just along the shore here. So this is what we call a whiting. It's a perfect size bait fish. Awesome. I'm hopeful with this one, yes. The two herrings. One. This right here, two, two. Let's lift our strokes and often. Oh, there's a nice mud crab. You see, that is a nice mud crab. I might get out. Ah, yeah, that's it. Get those bug legs. Got him. Beautiful female mud crab. Just gonna let him go, but there you go. Ah, oh, this oysters are slashing my hands. What is this crab? Purple pinches? Where are my yabbies gone? Yeah. What a seafood platter, eh? <laughs> All right, no, no, mate, not, not a joke. He can go back. Oh, look at those yabbies! One, two, ah, oh, they're pinching. Ha! Perfect, that's four yabbies. That's, that's a treat. It's a perfect bait. Nice. Another mud crab. So that's it for this morning. Got six yabbies, six little fish. Just perfect for this afternoon. High tides at 2 p.m. So I'm gonna go out around four, just for two hours, flicking. And a sitting tide. Should be good for floodies. See ya. All right, we've got maybe 500 meters to walk, and Wait, Vinny, I can that's it. it. Be a good side track because there could be. <gasps> oh, I found a big crab. I haven't seen this one yet. He'll pinch you. This crab is all spiky and hairy. Look, he's got hairy legs. That's where you have mangroves with crabs, mud crabs. That's just perfect, look. Oh, I wanna look at that log down there. Look, I'd love to go through it and just look for them, but, but we're here to fish. All right, so we're back in this awesome spot where we were last time. This time we're equipped with better bait. We have bloodworms, we have the yabbies, little herring and three bigger whiting ah oh, got it it's nice brim got it you want to take it it's spiky just just like this Dad, but we need a bigger fish to to eat Two yabbies on it in here. We're gonna have a broom. 
very soon, I think. Like, they can't resist this thing. Oh, wow. Is it big? Could be flathead, yep. Ha! No. Got it. Whoa! Yes! That's a massive brim. That's a nice size brim. We can. Oh, that's. Okay, we need a fire. Boys, we're eating it. Vinny, that's our dinner. It's a beautiful brim. Can you please get him out? Yeah, I'll get him out. We just go. Oh, we need to start that fire soon, yeah? Within 20 minutes. See, that must be a big brim of flathead. I'll do it. <laughs> What is it? I got it. Oh, big one. Oh, we got another brim. Oh, nice. A bit smaller, but nice. Oh, nice. That at least. So that's, yeah, that's 30 centimeters. So it's above legal. But I don't think we can pull it without tweezers. So quick death for this fish. And we're going to just. Sorry, fish. See them. That's it. Yeah, well done. There's no wind, so it's quite easy to to start it. You see, nothing's. Yes, yes. From fire. Careful. We need sticks. We need to get there. Fire roaring. Do you think we cook one and and let the other go? No, no we can let that one go. I think it's too nice. Do you want to release it? You release the little one and Vincent the big one, and we're gonna cook the one we killed. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Ah, oh, so nice. Oh, it's here. And Vincent, number two is releasing brim number two. That's it. That's it. Come on, Vinny. Yes, yes. Oh. Is it gone? Yes. It's going, it's going, it's gone. Okay. Let's attend to the fire. Be ready. Free dinner. <laughs> We're not chucking it on a fire like that. No, we need to gut it. Happy, boys? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Fish is gutted. We're just gonna wash it from the sand. That's a nice brim. Dad, I'll put the water on. Should be maybe just enough. Just enough coals. Cook it, we'll see. Should be. Dad's gonna be ready soon. It's really nice and hot in there. And the how are you supposed to know if the eyes are white? No, we're just gonna see 15 minutes and it should be done. 15? Like, fish is so good you can eat it raw. Like sushi. Dad. That's what they eat. So, even if it's slightly undercooked, it's still gonna be beautiful. 
Oh shoot, something! Yes, yes, yes! It's on! It's on! It's... That was too big. Wow! It hit my line. Got your line again, second time in a row. What's going on here? What's going on? Where's Vincent's road? It's gone? Where is it? It's pulled in. We lost the road. This is insane. Holy macro. There must be some big fish here because we lost two lines and a rod. Look, there's a mark from the rod. Video, what's going on? What's going on? How are we looking? Oh, there's already flesh showing. Beautiful. Nice. That's gonna be ready in no time. I gonna yeah, use those two sticks. Yeah, why did my rod just went straight? Cause that was the biggest fish. It's like Vincent's probably. And we have this fish. Look, it's falling apart. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this meat. The, the skin is peeling off. Nice. Mmm, mm, this is good. Vincent, have Can a try. There's a lot of dirt in it. There's <laughs> something spiky on it. Spiky? Yeah. yeah. Fish bones. What the? No, you need to watch for fish bones. Oh, look at that flip. Oh, look at that. Mm. Ah. Can we do this again? <laughs> of course. Like next week? Sure. Like next week, yeah. yeah. We'll see. I think we're busy next week because we're playing poker with the boys, but... Taste the skin. It's all good. <laughs> this scales, yeah. All right, we we need to slowly pack up because it's getting it's gonna be dark. Twenty minutes. And the sun is finally setting. We're heading home, wrapping up this beautiful adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it's one of the best day I had in Brighton fishing ever really um, definitely gonna be coming back here with the boys and we're gonna do some more crabbing in the mangroves here as well and um, you happy boys yeah right all right just watch those oysters and let's cross that creek get to the car and you guys until next time